2016. Now, obviously, this is my best of 2016 because Marshall didn't do anything because I kind of sprung it on him, so it's not his fault. Stuff. <laughs> totally. 2016 has been kind of a rough year. Right? It has been for a lot of people. It has been a rough year in general. It just has. So basically what I decided to do for my best of 2016 is just really focus on makeup um, because for me, like, that's kind of what I've been bringing to you except for wax melts and I have so many I'm still trying to, like, get through that. Um, but anyway, <clears throat> as far as the beauty aspect goes, I'm going to kind of walk through my, uh, you know, full face glam makeup coverage and tell you my most favorite products that I've been using um, pretty much up until the end of the year. So that way Marshall can kind of like talk about like maybe formula or like color or whatever um, as we go through this. So uh, some of these I actually just recently added. I know there are some favorites that I did not put in here, but I tried to do a nice mixture of drugstore versus high end so that you guys would have a better like selection. So some of my higher end things I think I like left out, um, but this is basically what I've been using most of the time and things I would mm -hmm. repurchase. Now what's very interesting about this year is that now you've gone a lot more, uh, you've shied away a little bit from the drugstore brands mm -hmm. and things, you've gone a little bit more high end, right. but on the other hand, your choices in candles and scented products has gone away from um, what would typically be considered high end and going more towards the indies. Yes, it has. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. And I think for the next year, that's one of the things I want to concentrate on. Yes, I will be doing more high end makeup as well as some, uh, like, yes, a drugstore. Um, the things I'm trying to focus on is more independent brands of everything. Um, I'm still going to have palettes and liquid lipsticks be my bread and butter of the channel, but I'm really trying to go through foundation and highlighters now as, you know, some things I want to focus on for 2017. So that is kind of where we're going, um, but let me jump in and show you what I have. So I'm going to start with the first thing I do when I get up in the morning, and that is the e.l.f. I refresh. I use this every single day. What this does is it's kind of like a rollerball and it's metal. So not only does it cool under your eye, but it depuffs. And this is really important when you're tired. This is a miracle for me. I always have a backup of this. I always have it on hand no matter what. It's about $3. It's really good price for what it does. I use this in conjunction with this. This is the e.l.f. Hydrating Under Eye Primer. I use it on my under eye as well as my lid immediately after this and the two of these together make everything kind of like die down so it's not as swollen in the morning and I don't look as tired but on the other hand I don't ever have to wear concealer on my under eye mm. okay and a lot of people do I'm not going to tell you that this is like such a miracle that it will completely diminish all of your bags and circles and whatever but I'm telling you you probably should try this six dollars for both together wait until elf has like a 50 percent off sale you're gonna get it even cheaper but you can get these at target that's where i can get them sometimes um on elf's website so you know definitely check these out if you're looking for a really good alternative for yeah, that this is primarily going to handle what it, what's going on with your eye because you didn't get sleep mm -hmm. it's not going to handle the stuff that's been repeated wear and tear over it's through true. your life mm -hmm. it's true so definitely these are a must in your collection but while we're also talking about elf i do want to mention this i have said that I use a Sorrento lip scrub before I go to bed. Um, this is what I use in the morning. So I actually exfoliate my lips twice. Once before I go to bed and once when I get up in the morning before I put on my lipstick. I basically will do my two primer things. I'll put this on, this lip exfoliator, and then I will leave it on while I do like foundation and stuff and then wipe it off. This one happens to be the Cherry Tart scent they also have a mint and a vanilla and like one that's unscented but it literally it looks like a lipstick but it, it has a little bit of like the exfoliation scrub you just kind of put it on and then you just let it sit there this is a great product for men and women because you know men too all you have to do is use this granted i know it, it's like it's just a girl product no because you want your lips to be soft um so you want to use this put on some lip balm i like to use the eos coconut milk which can also be used by both 
both men and women right after that it primes my lips for liquid lipstick and it also if you're a guy will help your lips not be so dry and chapped especially during the winter months which, which is which, important if you want somebody to be dealing with your lips exactly now the funny thing about this which we uh, apparently the entire beauty world just realized this year is that the bottom of these will actually double as a lip balm I don't know if I can get it off, but it pops off. Maybe twists off. Like this. Okay. Um, it kind of smells like cherry. I don't know. Like, I think it's a lot better for like maybe guys. <laughs> um, I need a lot more hydration in my lip balm than this. Um, but it is nice. It's not waxy. It's it's very. I don't know. Um, this, so I just want to bring this up just because a lot of people are like didn't know about this and when I saw it on Facebook I was like really and yeah it's true a lot of the lipsticks that have this little color on the bottom have this lip balm on the bottom so pretty funny <laughs> I don't know why we never knew about that but double duty so if you're a guy too and you want lip balm and an exfoliator this it's like again probably around three dollars yeah all right, so after I do that, I put on a primer. My favorite for this year has been the Becca Backlight Priming wow, Filter. Wow, that, that has been your favorite. Um, I got this in a Sephora box. I'm about down to here, and I'm using it very sparingly. I used it today, and I like that it illuminates my skin. However, this is very pricey. Um, I would repurchase but I would rather repurchase in a smaller size because I have a whole bunch of primers and I don't want it to go bad. So I would have to wait. But yes, this, this is great. I, I love this primer a lot. Um, I didn't bring another primer that I use that's drugstore, but you know, I do use like the NYX Stay Matte or NYX, I can't remember what it's called. It's like NYX Matte Not Flat Poreless. I don't know. But I do use that instead of this when I'm not using this, but it really does illuminate. Can you tell? Oh, yeah. All right, after priming, I use a foundation, obviously. I actually brought two liquid and one powder because I felt like this was something that I needed to uh, kind of share with you guys. If I am doing just like a straight up powder foundation, like a five minute look, I'm just going to work and I don't want to do like full coverage foundation, I use this. It's the It Cosmetics Foundation Celebration Illumination Powder. Um, I got this in a swap. And I want to show you, I have hit pan and I'm almost really sad because that means I'm going to have to repurchase and it is a tiny bit pricey, but I don't care. Um, I actually found that if you're looking for a drugstore dupe of this, you can get the Maybelline uh, Better Skin Powder or the there's like a NYX powder as well um, that you can buy that's a very similar to this if you're looking for something drugstore, but it does not illuminate as well as this one does. So a lot of times I wear this and people are like, what are you wearing on your skin? No, it's just a powder and I just like put it on and it's very good coverage. It does not make me greasy. You know, I have oily T-zone and it's great. I use the lightest shade, which is fair. Fair is lighter than light. Okay, so that's a little bit confusing, but yes, use fair. Mm -hmm. Yes, um, I do also use this over foundation as well. So it does double duty as a powder or by itself. So definitely check that out. So what's lighter than fair? Nothing. For them, fair is the lightest one. They don't have an albino? No, 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 they really don't. Okay, okay so. so now I'm going to go into liquid foundation. So the first one I want to talk about is the It Cosmetics CC Plus, Your Skin But Better. Um, I also use fair, but I also have light. So what I do is I sometimes mix them together depending on the time of year and like how light my skin actually is. It being the winter time, I use only fair. Um, I only use a little bit of this and then kind of like smooth it out and it gives a really sheer nice finish. This is not cheap either. I mean, it's good for like a higher end price. It's actually very reasonable, but if you're looking for a drugstore price, this is not it for you. I would recommend this. Now, a lot of people did not like this at all. Um, you guys will just have to kind of figure it out for yourself, whether you like it, but this is, there's hair in it, sorry. This is the Physician's Formula Cushion Foundation. Um, it was all the rage this year, and I actually saved the container. This has been empty for like probably months, and I haven't repurchased it yet because I just got the Maybelline Cushion Foundation to try out instead. This is in the shade Light. I love the packaging, it's so cute, but basically it would come with like a little sponge and then you would open this up 
like this and there's the cushion and what I used to do is put other foundation like I would like rinse out the sponge and I put under foundation in there just so that I could use the packaging again I recommend if you're gonna get a cushion foundation that you use a brush because if you have like a flat top kabuki you could just dab it in there and then put it on your face and it works a lot better than an actual cushion that's gonna soak up and you don't get a lot of product in here so that's why a lot of people are like no it's not worth it for the price or the product but the actual formula is great because you just put it on five minutes done very very nice so, so get that and use a kabuki brush mm -hmm. i this was like like i said it was pricey um i will tell you how i like the maybelline cushion um which reminds me a lot about love the l'oreal lumi cushion but the lumi cushion is a lot more expensive than the maybelline so i'll, I'll give you an update on instagram but definitely if you can get yourself a cushion foundation you just should definitely try it all right after that what i would do is i would do kind of like the whole face area so the, the thing i saw first and i would have to say my friend bethany really turned me on to this is the butter bronzer by physicians formula and i have it in light bronzer and so i basically just use that here i didn't use it today i used something else but it let me show marshall what it smells like very surprising mm. it has like a coconut like sunscreen yeah smell and it's great people rave about this and i like it because it's light enough for me i can kind of buff and blend it out a little bit more um when i'm a little darker sometimes you'll see me in these videos and i'll have like kind of a light orange thing happening here because yeah. i haven't blended out that's because i don't have enough light where i'm doing my makeup and so i i have issues i know but uh, a lot of times i'm using this and i love how nice it blends out and the smell is amazing I love it a lot. Coconut's a good way to get started. It really is, yeah. It just makes you feel like, I'm going to go do something. <laughs> um, so the next thing I thought of blush, and I was trying to be like, I really want to do a drugstore blush, but I decided to use my favorite um, brand, which is The Balm, and I got this in stain blush, and the color is Houndstooth. And what I love about this blush is that it stays on all day long. The color is beautiful. I, for pretty much any skin type, skin tone, it is gorgeous. And the only reason why I'm going to say you could probably afford this even for drugstore is that the balm has a lot of 50% off sales. And if you're also on Hope Look, they have 50% off on there as well. So you probably could pick up a balm blush in either place and it would be like probably about ten dollars so you definitely should try this um any of their blushes are good and will double as eyeshadow which i use constantly there is one that i don't have yet and i'm hoping i will get it soon which is called balm beach or beach balm or beach something beach, balm bingo. beach blush maybe i don't know but it's a blush um there's there's balm desert which is the bronzer but this is the blush counterpoint yeah, so that's what I would love um, to try that as well. That's on my list. But yes, this blush and look how big they are. They last forever really and the packaging is super cute. I love the balm. All right, let us go to highlight. I really wanted to include my Becca uh, highlight in Opal, but lately this one kind of knocked it out of the park. And this is the Touch of Glam highlighter. I got the, I'm showing you the Harry Potter one. Um, this is the one that my friend Megan on YouTube did send me and I can't stop raving about it. It's just so gorgeous. The lavender is so nice on people's skin tone just really makes it pop and glow and you guys you gotta try this i will leave the link down below if i can find it again but touch of glam has some really really beautiful highlights so definitely check them out it bumped my becca opal however i will i will still probably repurchase the becca opal but this one it's awesome. because the, it's that iridescent uh, lavender color oh yeah it kind of gives it more of an ethereal glow Definitely, yes. Yeah, kind of like a fairy princess. Hmm. Yeah. Um, so after that, I usually put on a setting spray. And right now, my favorite one is the Maybelline Master Fix setting spray. So you're just going to spray that all over. This really keeps my skin from being really super oily. It locks everything on my face in place, especially if my makeup tends to like try to oxidize or it gets that cakey look. This will help just kind of make it more matte and like more smooth looking so definitely try this um there are some other ones out there that i really like as well the wet n wild photo focus is good but i do like this one probably the best right now it really does prolong the makeup on the whole yeah all right so next up 
let's talk about primer for the eyes. Um, I had been using the Too Faced Shadow Insurance for a long time. Then I picked this up because I wanted more drugstore shadows. This is the Essence I Love Color Intensifying Eyeshadow Base. And this stuff is amazing. And it's so cheap, it's only like $6. I got it on Ulta. And I used it on my lids today and it really helps to intensify the color, keep it on there, and it won't, like once you put something on there, it won't budge. And blending is a breeze, which I don't have that with the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. Sometimes with that, it like feels like the brush gets stuck on the primer. With this, it does not. It just, like today, I, I was like blending out the shadow, I was like, whoa. That's nice. So I could, I, I really recommend this. It reminds me a lot of my e.l.f. shadow primer. Um, that is also at like $2. So yeah, two really good drugstore brands. Definitely check those out. Yep. All right, so I guess now we need to go, oh, let's do eyebrows before we go into anything else. Um, I use this in almost every video, so if you guys don't know, I love it by now. This is the NYX Brow Mascara in, uh, I believe Blonde is what I use, even though it's like a light brow. Um, I use this all the time. It's a really good dupe for Anastasia's Brow Wiz Brow Gel or the uh, Benefit Brow. Mm -hmm. Although, um, I just recently used the Benefit Brow Wiz, whatever it's called, and, uh, I really, I really liked it a lot. <laughs> um, it's just different. It has a smaller brush. I think this one has like a bigger, a little bit bigger brush, but it still has really lasting staying power and it kind of locks my color in place. So I definitely recommend this also. I kind of want to jump into eyeshadows. So we're going to start with some singles and then go into the two palettes that I have. So the first single is actually a uh, recent discovery of mine. This is the e.l.f. Aqua Beauty uh, Lip Lip, no. Health Aqua Beauty eyeshadow color, and this is in rose gold. Mm -hmm. I use this on my lid, and it is just shimmery and gorgeous, and stays it, on forever. It's it nice just, champagne -y color. It really is. It really is, and I love the packaging. And it, I believe this cost about four dollars. Um, and I, the first time I put it on, I was like, this is so good. This is just like other liquid eye colors that I've used, like that are higher end for four dollars it is it's great you guys you so need bad. to pick this up um definitely but i would be remiss if i did not talk about my favorite brand of eyeshadow ever and that would be ColourPop. um this one is in birthday boy it was a limited edition i don't even know if they carry it anymore but it's really this really like pretty like color but honestly the color doesn't matter anything by ColourPop that's eyeshadow I love. It has a big collection of color pop. I have a very big collection. And that's just because I can get a color for every mood. Um, you know, I buy a lot of like gift sets and things so that I can get more. People know I love color pop for both the eyes and the lips. So definitely color pop will always be on my list. I love them. Let's talk about palettes. Oh, there go the kids again. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, so the first one I'm going to talk about is a quad, um, but I recently this year just started getting into Kat Von D, so I got the Shade and Light Eye Palette, and it's in the plums. And this is what it looks like, but here it is. I use this so much. It's such, it's such a good one. I was debating whether I wanted to use this one or the Kat Von D Metal Matte in this video, and I decided this one would be the best one because the colors are just so good for me. There's a lot of different shades that you can get. There's some brown ones, and then there's some other colors that you can get, but this one for me is my favorite, and I love it. I love Kat Von D shadows. They're so good. They blend well, they stay on, and... Very yeah. rich colors. Very, very much so. Uh, very much so. So I definitely recommend that. And then for my full palette, which is what I used on my look today, and I just recently got this. This is the Kathleen Lights Morphe palette, so highly recommend this. What it was, I do have a video of swatching down below. I used it on my look today, used that green right there, and then I used this dark green right here um, on my lid. I used this right here and this one right here for like creases just to kind of blend everything out and i like how it turned out i think it's great so do not be afraid of these two greeny colors right here you can make it work if i can make it yeah. work you can make it work it's it's amazing this right here provided a beautiful highlight right underneath my brow 
Seriously, guys. And it's not that expensive. It's like $15. It is That's amazing. You guys, you got to pick this up. For that many? Pretty good price. Morphe has really good formulas on their shadows. So those are my two palettes that I did. Um, and now let's go into, uh, yeah, liners. I only have two. Actually, before we do that, it's about to run out of time. Um, okay. Let me check the prime. 